Okay, good day everyone. Ang topic mo natin ngayon is about uh, seismic analysis. It's all about earthquake. So, yan po. Uh, composed of two section. Una yung section 208, earthquake loads. Section 208 or earthquake loads of NSCP 2015, National Structural Code of the Philippines, 7th edition, the 2015 edition. Then, we, co we compute a sample of seismic analysis of three-story building or the design base here. Uh, before we proceed to the computation, uh, let lamin muna natin yung sinasabi ng sinasabi ng code section 208 o yung earthquake load. Po sa sabi sa section 208.1 or so, section 208.1.1 purpose. Purpose of this section succeeding earthquake provision is primarily to design seismic resistance structures to safeguard against major structural damage that may lead to loss of life and property. These provisions are not intended to assure zero damage in the structure nor maintain their functionality after severe earthquake. Structures and portion thereof shall, as a, be, as a minimum, be designed and constructed to resist the effects of the seismic ground motions as provided in these sections. Then, section 208.1.3 And the code presented wind design produced greater effects. The wind design shall govern but detailing requirements and limitations prescribed in this section and reference section shall be made to govern. Basis for design The procedures and limit limitation for the design of structure shall be determined considering seismic zoning site characteristic, occupancy configuration, structural system, height in accordance with section. Uh, basis for design. The structure shall be designed with adequate strength to withstand the lateral displacement induced by the design ground motion, considering the inelastic response of the structure and the inherent redundancy over strength and the activity of the lateral resisting system. The minimum design strength shall be based on the design seismic forces determined in accordance with the static lateral procedure set of section 208.5 set must modified by section 208.5.3.5.4. For the strength design is used, the combination of section 208.3 shall apply where allowable strength stress design is used. The load combination Section 203.4 shall apply. Allowable stress design may be used to evaluate sliding and overturning of the soil structure interface regardless of the design approach used in the designs of the structure provided load combinations of Section 208.3 are utilized. So, ito po yung formula ng design base shear. The total design base shear in a given condition shall be determined from the following equation. So, ito na po yung formula niya ng design base shear based on the 2015 version of the structural National Structural Code of the Philippines. The design base shear, the V, is equal to ZV CB is the coefficient, then I, the importance factor, then I, times W, the weight of the building, that's over R, numerically coefficient, then T. Ito po yung period of vibration. The design base shear is equal to CV, I, W, over RT. It's less than 2.5 CA, I, W, over R, but greater than 0.11 CA, I, W, and it's also greater than 0.8 Z and V I W over R. Mga pag nasa zone 4 po yan, seismic zone 4. Kukumpare natin yan sa dating version. No? Kasi, nung ginamit namin na version, is 1992 pa yung NSCP version, tapos nagkaroon ng 2001, 2010, then 2015. Nung tinignan ko yung formula ng 2001 at 2010 na base year, Pares lang siya ng 2015. So, ngayon, 
ang itatapik natin sa sus na dito sa ano na to si compare natin yung base year ng 2015 sa 1992 so eh alamin natin ano ba yung sinasabi ano ba yung mga nakapaloob yan ano yung CB ano yung I ano yung W ano yung R at ano yung Yung CD po, yung tinatawag na site coefficient. So, mayroong table 208-8 or seismic coefficient CV na sinasabi sa National Structural Code o section 208 ng NSCP. Yan po. Meron na hati niya sa sa uh, Soil profile type na SA, SB, SC, SD, SE, so, SF, then sa seismic zone, since dalawa lang yung zoning natin, zone 2 at saka zone 4, yung equivalent value din siya na ng SA or seismic coefficient. Then, soil type ay SF, then, nakailangan na siya ng site specific geotechnical investigation and dynamic dynamic site response analysis shall be performed to determine seismic site coefficient and soil profile type SAS, BS, CSD and SE are defined in table 208-2 and so soil profile type SF is defined as soils requiring site specific evaluation Soils vulnerable to potential failure or collapse under seismic loading such as liquefiable soils, quick and high sensitive soil, sensitive clays, and collapsible weakly cemented soils, thick and ha or highly organic clays where thickness or fit or highly organic clay exceeds 3.0 and very high plasticity clay with a plasticity index PI greater than 75 or the depth of clays exceeds 7.5. Very soft medium steep clays or the depth exceeds 35 meters. The criteria set forth in the definition for soil depth profile type SF requiring site-specific evaluation shall be considered if the site corresponds to those to this criteria, the site shall be classified as soil profile type SF and a site-specific evaluation shall be conducted. Ito po yung soil profile type. Section 208-2 Soil profile type Equivalent siyang shear velocity BS then may equivalent siyang number of blows or NT pag C then meron siyang tinatawag na undrained shear or SU for S C, S, D, S, E na soil profile type. Next, ito po, yung tinatawag na sa occupancy category or seismic importance factor, yung I, paano natin siya malalaman? For the purpose of earthquake resistance design, structure shall be placed in one occupancy category listed in table 103-1, table 208 assign importance factors I and IP and structural observation requirements for each category. So, ito po yung table 103 occupancy category. Yung nasabi dyan, lalo naman siya pinagkay ay yung essential facilities, hazardous facilities, special occupancy facility structures, standard occupancy structures sa kami structures. So, titingnan muna natin yan dyan kung anong kategory ng structures yung design natin. Then, meron siyang equivalent importance factors. Gaya ng, halimbawa, yung, yung, yung sa, sa gagawin natin, nasa number 4 siya, standard occupancy category structures. Ang equivalent importance factor niya is 1. Then, ito po yung seismic zone. Seismic, seismic hazard characteristic for the site shall be established based on the seismic zone and proximity of the site to achieve seismic sources. Site profile characteristic and the structures. Important factor. 
the Philippine archipelago is divided into two seismic zones only. Zone 2 covers the provinces of Palawan, except Buswanga, Sulu and Tawi-Tawi, while the rest of the country under Zone 4, as shown in Figure 208-1. Each, each structure shall be assigned in seismic zone factor C in accordance with Table 208-3. So, po yun. Yan. So, sa seismic zone 2, Palawan, Sulu Tawi-Tawi, Sik Buswanga, then 6 Smith phone the rest of the country ang equivalent niya sa zone seismic zone factors eh, pag zone 2 is 0.2 pag zone 4 is 0.4 seismic source type define the types of seismic sources the location and type of seismic sources to be used for design shall be established based on ge geological data see figure 208-2 type A sources shall be determined from figure 208-2 dash 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E or the most recent mapping of active faults by the Philippine Institute of Vulcanology and Seismology. So, meron pa pong uh, ginawa si uh, reference tayo kay based on the zone, sa uh, source type na mapa, nakasama po yan sa ano, NSCP 2015 version. So, check nyo na lang po yun. Marami doon. Hindi ko na siya nilagay dito. Then, to total seismic dead load, or W. The total seismic dead load defined in section 208.6.1. Yan, sinasabi dito, isa sa, sa dead load, in storage and warehouse occupancy, a minimum of 20% of live load shall be applicable. So, kailangan may live load siya kapag warehouse. Where a partition load is used in the floor design, a load of not less than 0.5 kN shall be included. Then, number 3, total weight of permanent equipment shall included. So, pag may equipment tayo na fixed na doon, to consider din natin siyang dead load. So, masasama siya sa computation ng W. Then, Structural System or R. Structural System shall be classified as one of the list types listed in Table 208-11 and defined in this section. So, yung R, da, yung R niya, hinagiwalay-hiwalay na sila. Uh, table 208-11A, 11B, 11C, sa 11D. Ano yung pagkakaiba nun? Sa 11A, yung Earthquake Force Resisting Structural System of Concrete. Sa Table 11B naman, sinasabi dyan, Table 11B, ayan po, Earthquake Force Resisting Structural System of Steel. Kaya ting sa table si na 208-11C, masun rin na siya. Earthquake Force Resisting Structural System of Mason Rey and 11D. Earthquake Force Resisting Structural System of Wood. So, pag tinignan natin yan, ito po yung table niya. Sa NSCP 2015 to, no? Yan siya, concrete. Ang sunod na table, ito for steel sa masonry naman take table 20H 208-11C earthquake force resisting structural frame for concrete of masonry of masonry and wood D earthquake force resisting structural system of wood yan po yun so, ito naman, T, structural period. The value of T shall de be determined from one of the following methods. For all buildings, the value of T may be approximate or the following equations. T is equal to CT, HN over 3 over 4. Ano yung tinatawag na T? Ito yung fundamental period of vibration, yung time, yung considered sa ipag-design ng structure. Yan po yun, T is equal to CT times HN 
trace to the threefold. So in CT, meron siyang equivalent value. CT is equal to 0 0.08534 steel moment resisting frames. In CT, 0 0.0731 for reinforced concrete moment resisting frames and centrically braced frames. Then CT is equal to 0 0.0488 for all buildings. The method B naman, the fundamental period T may be calculated using the structural properties and the formational characteristic of the resisting elements in, pro in a properly substantiated analysis. The value of T from method B shall not exceed a value of 30% greater than the value of T obtained from method A in seismic zone 4 and 40% in seismic zone 2. So, ito yung formula niya. Hindi pa natin yan i-discuss. Medyo mahaba yan. For more engineering software reviews and tutorials, click subscribe.